Back here with another motherfucking video. Mr. Beast, ages 1 through 100, fight for $500,000. What the fuck do you mean, fight? And 1 through 100, you ain't finna tell me it's a 1 year old and a fucking 100 year old, year old motherfucker in this video. Behind me are one. Being 100 years old used to be so uncommon and unfound. Now it's just like motherfuckers live to 116, 112, 114. And 100 people. And they range from the age 1 all the way through age 100. And I've trapped each of them in their very own glass cube. The last one to leave their cube is going to win half a million dollars. The challenge has officially begun. Let's see which age is the best. I'm um, representing for 31. I've got the best view and the best motivation. You want the best? You got it right here. My daughter's turning three this Saturday. Amory, daddy loves you. This Damn, is you 69, boy. feeling fine. Yeah, I got winning on my mind. Damn. What's your strategy to win this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, I have over 300 cameras set up literally everywhere. So we'll be monitoring their every move. Oh, and one of the stalking. first things I noticed was that the kids had a crazy strategy. My strategy is to make a lot of noise so people like don't get any sleep and they really want to get out. And I can't believe it, but it's working. The old people were not having it and they started leaving right away. <laughs> And even some of the kids got out because of them. He's building up suspense. Oh. Oh. Did you want the money? Yeah. Then why did we leave? <laughs> I have good news for you. You've survived longer than the one-year-old. Come, come on. <laughs> Do you think this will be easy? I am a World War II veteran. Be peanuts. <laughs> True. I appreciate your service. Thank you. We're a couple hours into the challenge, and 10 people have already gotten out. So we decided to leave. Shit, he been alive for a hundred goddamn years, so shit. When you really think about it, leave them alone for the rest of the days, day. They cost even more people to get out. I want to go, go home. To I want to see my kids. <laughs> but I got to go to school. I just don't think it's for me at night. I got really bored and I miss my dog. Here's some money for playing. Oh, are you serious? But some people were more determined to stay. You know, I'm a big family guy. Hopefully, pay off my sister's student debt. I have a deal with one of my grandkids. I'm here to show him how strong I am at 70. I don't need a strategy. I'm good till Christmas. It's the start of day two, and only 76 people, people remain. You Let's talk see like how the that. year olds doing. How's it going? I'm you boy. It's the start of day two. Do you want to keep going, or do you want to get out? I, I think I'm going to quit. It's something my family will never forget. He fought a world war and competed in a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. <laughs> going into day two, I'm feeling... I was just rooting for you, my boy. Like, what the fuck? I was literally just like, he might just make it. The nigga talk about it's peanuts. Pretty good. Peanuts, the money's right there. there. So, it's right there within my reach. Whoa. How are you drawing so much on the walls? It's always amazing to see how people fight their boredom in these last three challenges. Some draw on the walls with deodorant, while others build pillow forts. So I'm going to give them an opportunity to take this challenge to the next level. We're 24 hours in, and it's time for a vote. In each of your rooms, you'll notice a green button and so a red button. And if a majority of you press the green button, we'll do a challenge. <clears throat> but that will eliminate a bunch of you. If a majority of you press the red button, we won't. And we'll just continue as usual. I chose red. Why take unnecessary risks? I'm not voting green. Mm -hmm. I am ready to do something. Get some people out of here. Green is we do a challenge. Red, OK. Reveal the results. <laughs> 63 people voted for a challenge, and 13 Damn. did. I've got my game face on today. The game is three cup Monty, but we made it slightly bigger. A ball is placed under one of these three cups. Nolan Chandler, start moving them around. Whoever remembers where the ball is stays in the game. Everyone else is eliminated. The guys are so cute, it's hard to keep my eyes on the cups. Have you ever seen someone that focused before? <laughs> What's that over there? You are unbelievably tricky. Oh my gosh, what's that over there? Not, not, not falling for that. It worked on the 82 year old. <laughs> Did you have any idea what the cup is it? <laughs> I guess it's up to chance. But some people lost track of the ball and had to trust their neighbor for the answer. It's like you blink or you look away for a second and it's gone. We relied on a consensus here. New strategy. We're not going to tell them the correct thing when they ask. It's a different color. I trust my people. I think I'm good. Yeah. I'm nervous because I don't want to get kicked out. They've been watching these cups for an hour straight. If they still know which cup the ball is under, that's really impressive. 
Everyone, I need you to lock in your votes. Hit the button that lines up with the cup you choose. I don't know who to trust. Green. He said red. Red. She said blue. Blue. Don't trust her. <laughs> I don't trust man over there at all. You're done, big boy. Good. Reveal what color they pick. Zinga, only three people pick green. Nolan, were those three people right? They were not. <laughs> Most people pick blue. Let's see if they're right. They are! <laughs> I guess we're out. We're out of here. By the end of the challenge on day two, only 52 people still remain. And the tensions are getting higher. We got an enemy now, <laughs> the old guy. I know, look at him. There's friction between these two groups. He told me red. She told me the truth. These are the people he's been talking to the whole time we're here. And they told him the wrong color. Her and I were just playing with him, giving him the wrong color. We were just having fun with him. They took it the wrong way. If you got to win by line, it's $500,000 on the line. Ain't no what fucking they done way. is they've turned a bunch of folks against them. A bunch. At this point, you're probably wondering how they use the bathroom. Push this down. OK, the light outside the cube just turned on, which means Chris is now going to bring you a toilet. I couldn't get plumbing in all 100 rooms, so we have portable toilets. This is now a bathroom. Let's it get out of the bathroom. bathroom. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Stop coming. By the end of day two, almost half the contestants have been eliminated. It was fun to tell them the wrong color, because they didn't know what to do. Wait, why do you want number 22 out so bad? <laughs> we were beeping earlier. <laughs> Tension now is at an all-time high. Makes you want to get out. You know it doesn't, right? I'm hungry. Leave me alone. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm pissing me off. Which naturally caused more people to leave. It's time to go home. You got really far. Thank you. By the end of day three, 54 and 74 were the biggest targets. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> we're halfway through day four, which means it's time to vote on whether or not we they're do not another challenge. Game. If you vote yes, a lot of people are going to get out. This is not the same as the last challenge, so vote with caution. How's it going? What'd you vote for? Challenge. You're not worried it could get you out? I like to sow seeds of chaos. It's more fun this way. Why are you pressing it so much? Let's do the challenge. All right. <laughs> the results are in, and only nine voted against it. You each have a piece of paper and a Sharpie. I want you all to write a number of one of the remaining contestants on that paper. Whoever gets the most votes is eliminated. 60 second timer starts now. I told you this challenge would be brutal. This is gonna stink. That's what's going through my head. I'll bet you they're trying to vote me off right now. In the last challenge, there was a lot of lying. So now the people that were lied to are gonna vote out the people that lied to them, so it pays off to be honest. What's your vote? 54. His cockiness and his lying. 74. She's not a very grateful person. Somebody needs to go would be her. He wrote that down quick. Yes. We got his whole block. So everybody's voting for 54? Yes. We're gonna see who has more influence. Things are about to get real interesting. Everybody, reveal your answer in three, two, one. That's what he did. I'm seeing a lot of same numbers up here. Such a big war between 74 and 54. The results are in, and it was actually scarily close. Within two votes, the loser is 74 with 14 votes. Nolan, can you please show 74 out? What? One down. Now we need to do that nine more times. We all just basically came to a consensus at the same time that 10 needs to go. He's so annoying. Like, he literally voted for me, and it didn't do anything to him. That's a strong-minded child right there. If <laughs> he stayed the whole time, he could win. The 10-year-old's my favorite. I really hope he stays in. Yeah, I'm thinking 10. I'm so sorry, 10. But if I don't vote for you, then they want me out. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he voted for me. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, show your vote to the camera. Oh. Savages. Oh. Savages. oh my gosh, oh. that is a lot of 10. I'm sorry, little man. This is officially the first decade eliminated. You guys are sick in the head. You're not allowed to this entire boat. The only reason they voted you out was because they were scared. I felt so bad for 10, I invited him on stage with me to co-host the rest of the challenge. Oh, you probably need to kick me out. Okay, I need every single one of you to vote for 14. <laughs> 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. Um, I don't know how to put this, but uh, 
Almost everyone voted for 14. We have to think in terms of who's the biggest threat. And this one's going to be tough. Get ready. It's time to go. The 50-year-olds were determined to eliminate people, and they had the most voting power by far. 73 is also one of those bad apples. 73, 15 votes. They got a pretty big power block out there. Oh my god. The 50s might single-handedly take out everybody in their 70s. 71? But 71 got 15 votes. I've never been so threatened by 50-year-olds. It's kind of scary. We lost some good friends. Is there only one black person? <laughs> I hate doing this. It was 75. Oh. This is insane. <laughs> Almost everyone voted oh 69. God. I feel so sorry for you. 69, you've been voted out. Look at what you've done. The next person is 35 with nine votes. We randomly chose. And I'm sorry to say 21. We can only all be friends for so long. I'm actually seeing a lot of 96, so let's go hear what she has to say. She was very close to being eliminated. Great, this is what you want. I'm happy. Dude, she's so cute. <laughs> the fact that she's sweet tells me that I know her grandkids miss her at home. <laughs> let's see who you savages dogpiled on. Show the numbers. Over half of you voted for 96. I don't understand you people. She's not the biggest threat here. Oh. Thank I'm you sorry. for everything. You know, it's the way it is. And I'm happy. You know, it's what everybody wants, and that's what's important. This is heart wrenching. Yeah. The purge is now officially done. If you're in your cube, you survive. Because of their alliance, the 50s made it through the entire voting game untouched. And yet again, somehow 54 survived. On to the next. Either challenge or no challenge. I had to vote no challenge because I can wait it up. It's time for another challenge vote. I know for 100% I can win if I do no challenges the rest of the time. I vote yes for challenge. My chances are getting better and better, just like everybody else does. I could wait it out. My house would be paid off. I'm ready to retire. This could be it for me. 20 of you voted for a challenge. Why are you gambling? You guys are crazy. Inside of each of your cubes is a Jenga tower. We're gonna pull blocks out one at a time. And if your tower falls, you're eliminated. Pull your first block. It can be any block besides the red ones. We're gonna keep doing this until there's only 10 people remaining. Oh. Pull the second block out. Looks like no one has been eliminated yet. Let's do another one. My heart beat is so bad. I'm just waiting to hear the crash of Jenga blocks. That was cool. Oh my gosh, I called it. One person down, 14 more to be eliminated. This is gonna be crazy. And while they're pulling pieces, I wanna tell you about the Shop app. It's the most amazing way to shop from your phone. The Shop app makes shopping extremely fun. From buying feastable bars to e-bikes to whatever else you're interested in, it's super easy. And when you're ready to buy, you can speed through checkout using Shop Pay. It's not coming out. The Shop app uses AI technology to scan hundreds of millions of products and recommend the ones best for you. I'm so nervous. So am I. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't touch. <gasps> oh. Shop will even track all your packages in one place so you'll know exactly when each of them arrives. And remember, we're doing this until there are 10 people left. I bumped into the thing. Yeah, I noticed. Only one more to go. It all comes down to this. She could be the last person. I can't believe this hasn't hit the ground already. I know what. Bro, your tower is tilted 30 times. I can't look. I can't. Oh, I gotta look. I can't look. I gotta look. Come on, Brenda, think about the backyard Jenga. Backyard Jenga don't have jamming in my face. No, no. That yes. is the final elimination. Yes. I can't believe it. I'm top 10. 90 gone, 10 left. Let's go. 
If mom wins the 500,000, we are going to Disney World. <laughs> Download the shop app right now. We're gonna be selling Jenga blocks and other parts from this set on the shop app, which I'll tell you more about at the end of the video. This challenge has eliminated everyone above the age of 60. The right side of the map is a wasteland. And now that 15 people just got out, we have to tear down 15 cubes. There's no way they're gonna vote for another challenge tomorrow. Look at how many people have gone now. Every single one of these X's used to be a person. There was a human right here. There is no one around me. I'm the youngest one here. If I leave, I leave on a challenge. I'm not leaving, walking out. I have not come this far to give up. I'm gonna let you guys say your votes over the microphone. Do you want a smoke. challenge? Absolutely. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Challenge. Yes or no? Yes. We're doing oh. a challenge. Mic drop. Mic drop. In our Squid Games video, you guys loved the marble game, so we brought it back. Yeah! Just like last time, the contestants are playing 1v1 against their neighbor. Each player is given 10 marbles, and they choose what game to play. By the end of 30 minutes, only the person with 20 marbles moves on. These guys just wanted to get it over with. This is a $500,000 coin flip. Oh. oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. It is heads. First to two wins, right? It's up to you guys. Oh my god, sunk it. That's one point. Oh! If you make it into any bucket, you win right here. Let's go! Oh my god, he won it! I'm sorry, buddy. All good, all good. Count them up. We should have 20. Got 10 blue, nine red. You're missing a marble? Can you count again? 19. You are one short. I'm not holding on to any. Interesting. There's only seven minutes left, so if you care for this man, you should find it. <laughs> Where is it? You're currently at 18 marbles, and you're at two marbles. It's OK. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoa, there might be a comeback. It might be. I found it. Really? Yeah, really? it was in my bed sheet. Oh. He has one more marble. If you win with that one marble, that'd be crazy. Good job. <laughs> I thought that was it. That's it. Oh! We can officially suck out now. Oh, that feels so bad. This keeps going back and forth. Hey, remember, he said we both go home, so one of us is going to have to decide a different game. Rock, paper, scissors for half a minute is bad, too. OK, this is for all the marbles. We're going to do all or nothing. Does that sound fair? This is for all the marbles? Yeah. But you have 14 marbles, and he has six. Why are you gambling? All or nothing, a minute and a half. Hurry up. Rock, paper, scissors, turn. I got them all. 54 escaped elimination again. 30 seconds remain. OK. We're done the last two. It was the same kind of position as this, song, only a couple minutes yeah, ago. And the thing is, a minute yeah, ago, it was me. Is there anything you want to say to each other before this? I 54 love you. wins. <laughs> I'm unsubscribed. Let's just do this, right? <laughs> it's OK. Congratulations. She started yeah. crying for her and ended up losing. I lost to an amazing person. It was rough. The only people left are 23, 40, 43, 52, and 54. Look at the graveyard of X's. These were all cubes like mine at the start. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Things have been getting a little more intense. Today's my daughter's birthday. It's just hitting home now, then I'm not gonna be there. Damn. Can you all You're hear a bad me? father. Yes, <laughs> when we started, there was a hundred of you, and now we're down to five. Do you want to reduce it even further with the challenge? Yes! Yes! All right, but you guys chose this. In this challenge, the 95 contestants who have already left will vote. 
Oh. And the three of you with the most votes are gone. Wow. I'm definitely worried about this challenge. Certain people here have kind of brushed people the wrong way. You have no idea what people they give you. At this point, I'm rather Good glad that I didn't on. really make any enemies. Do you think the people that lost liked you? For the most part. Are you willing to bet half a million dollars that they liked you? I don't know about that one. Do you think the people that were eliminated liked you? No. What's not to like? Let's find out. We literally asked every single one of the 95 eliminated people who they want gone. Heart's about to jump out of my throat. How many votes does it say you got, Joe? 10. Which is not enough to be eliminated. <laughs> He's one of the two that passed, which means only one of these four cubes remains. So uh, I'm bad with this stuff. You want to wanna handle it? You got it. 23. Yes. You were, in fact, eliminated. No. To lose it in top five when I've come this far was super painful. I really didn't expect 23 to go. And now only one of these three remain. Do you think it's you? I hope so. That didn't sound confident. You received 15 votes. Wow. Oh, this is brutal. Love you, Chris. I'm not going to lie. Losing out on that was crushing. After spending roughly seven days here and getting that close to that grand prize and not getting it, it hurts. And now the two of you. All right, we'll come over here. This is dense, very tense. 54. I got the most votes, I know. Wait, how'd you know that? <laughs> I don't trust the man over there at all. Like you're done, big boy, God. I just know. Yeah, you did. You got 37 votes. Yeah! Which means 52, you passed! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was a once in a lifetime chance. Let's go I've got a 50% chance of winning half a million dollars. Nah, you missed your daughter's birthday. You don't deserve shit. Out as a reward for making it to the final two, I have one last surprise for you. What do you think it is? Well, I have no idea. What is this right here? That's for my, my daughter. Today's her birthday? Yeah. Well, let's see what comes through the curtains. Oh, this see. Oh, my God. I'm not going to let you miss her birthday. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's your dad. You don't recognize <laughs> Very much. Regardless of who it's loose, we're yeah. proud of you. You can do this. Good job. Yeah. This is the fan. Bye. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything else. That was my everything right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I got this now. Only ages 52 and 40 remain and they've been living in these cubes for over a week. Day eight. It's been a wild ride. Here I am. I can't believe it. Every challenge I've said, thought it was out, thought it was out. I made it. It's a lot more feasible now in my mind because it's not me versus 98 other people. It's me versus one person. All these X's were cubes with people in them, and everybody's gone now, and it's just Joe and I. Another day here is not going to make somebody quit. To come down to something actually forcing one of us to leave. I give them a chance to say no to a challenge, but... Oh, my. What should we do? I can't believe they chose a challenge. They are taking a half a million dollar gamble. Inside one of these briefcases is the check for $500,000. And everyone on set is blindfolded, including the cameraman, while I mix up the cases. I promise this will make sense in just a minute. The briefcases are now mixed. And because you guys chose a challenge, you can step out of your cubes and meet in the middle. Half a million dollars is about to go to 52 or 40. I'm going to flip a coin to decide who gets to look inside of their briefcase, making them the only person on set that knows where the money is. It's a game of bluffery. That's right, because then it's up to the other person to choose which briefcase they want to take home. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails. Whenever you're ready, look inside your briefcase. I don't even want to know what's in there. I can't stand the burden. 52 now has to decide whether she's going to keep her briefcase or steal his. Joe, do you have 500000 in your briefcase? Yes. No, he Joe, don't. are you lying? What do you think? Was there anything else in the briefcase other than the money? I saw the Mr. Beast logo. You saw a check in there? Yes. Joe, are you honest? You spent enough time with me, what do you think? This is so nerve-wracking. 
Half a million dollars on the line. Is she going to keep her briefcase or take his? Wow. Oh, it's a big decision. What do you think, as of right now, in your head, do you think it's in there? I don't think it's in there. I think I have it. I'm so nervous. I'm, ner I'm actually, my heart's beating. I'm actually feeling anxious for you guys. At first I thought you it was swear money, that their that money is insane. in your case. Gosh. What is he doing? I don't think it's in there. I think I'm going to pick my case. You're going to keep this. Locked in. All right, Joe, what is inside your briefcase? This is check. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, I knew it! Oh, he smiled. Oh, he smiled. Damn, what the fuck? He smiled, bro. Oh, what is inside your briefcase? He smiled. As soon as I think it happened. I'm so nervous. I'm ner I'm actually my heart speaking. I'm actually feeling anxious for you guys. And you swear that their money is in your case. Gosh. I don't think it's in there. I think I'm gonna pick my case. You're gonna Smile. keep this. Look. Locked in. All right, Joe. What is inside your briefcase? There. You, this man literally said he had it. Oh my gosh, what a crazy play. What is wrong with you? <laughs> he told the truth and he got it. We said all along, good guys can win. So it pays off to be honest. Oh. Even though you didn't win, we still want to give you $10,000 and your family a trip to Disneyland oh, uh, to make Liz a little better. They're still going to go. Yay! We took items from this set and turned them into collectible pieces that we are selling for only one penny. And you have to act quickly because there's only a limited amount of them and they're gonna sell out fast. Click the link below and download the shop app right now. Subscribe and you can win half a million dollars. Later. Also, Feastables is available in every 7-Eleven, Speedway, and Walmart in America. Go buy Feastables right now. Today on Brand Squad, we're doing total wipeout. Yeah. But, um, it was a good ass video. And he started coming back with more challenges and shit. Good. That one, that was good. That was a good one. I ain't okay. I'm just glad 54 lost. Thank you.